for National University, and I'm on the side of a airplane hangar at Oakland Airport. Wow. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. You didn't even know about it. He just he just saw it randomly. <laughs> he saw a big old, and I mean, it's like you talk on the side of an airport hangar. His face is like the size of this wow. you know, wall, you know. Like, All right, we're doing watch out the screen. Right? Watch, watch out, watch out. So, I mean, the first few things, like really the biggest parts of it, is like you always want to keep contact with him once you come into the watch out. So, and and really, like I control him too. Like I, I grab his head, put him back into the ball, let him know that like I'm there, he's comfortable, and he's not gonna move, you know. So now he's not like, oh, should I do it? Like, should I be like? He's like very, very much like directive. So he knows where he is, and, it, and he feels me there, you know. Yeah, just to do a little dry massage, get all the hair out of his face, let him know, like, you know, he's going to get relaxed for just a second, you know? I know, Dad. Every time he comes in, I come and hang, no doubt. You might be in Chicago or Vegas and you need a haircut for a shoot. This is the first time I've got to cut it, so it's pretty cool. Someone will have your back. I'm going to use a little bit of, I'm going to use a little Mitch too, just a little double hitter. I like to use it on the second shampoo just because like, I don't think guys like to wash their hair that much, so like doing two shampoos, two conditioners, they're always a little weirded out, so I just... That's what I'm going to use for the first. I mean, they probably use tea tree, I mean, that, that's what I would have used on them for the first, for the first shampoo, a little special. So first I'm going through and I'm just applying the shampoo to his hair right now, so, and when you're shampooing, you always, I mean, it's to clean the scalp, so I'm going through, and I'm just really applying it all over to his scalp, you know, so making sure that he's covered. Now that I've applied the shampoo, now I'm going to start a little bit of manipulation with it. So I always like to start, you know, right along this hairline. And I mean, some of the biggest points with with any massage or any manipulation is you want to use you want to use some harder pressures. You want to use some lighter pressures. You want to go a little bit slower. And you want to kind of be able to speed it up too. So that way, it's just not too boring for them. You're not like putting them to sleep. It's like you're moving, you know, you're just kind of giving it a little bit of like variety to it too, you know?